And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Thank you all so very much for joining me this evening. And first and foremost, I have to give a huge thank you to two amazing lovely Lost Tales who have renewed their subscriptions. Um, three now. I'll get to you guys in a second. Um, Zanchlu Carmina crossed the 20 month threshold over the last week. Keep, keep inching closer to two years hanging out at the respite. Thanks for always being awesome, Steph, and fostering such a good community. Thank you so, so much, Zanchlu Carmina. Thank you. Um, Salva Holder closing in on the full year mark myself. What can I say? But this is a lovely place to hang around in. Thank you so much, Salva Holder. And Barden's Odyssey, thank you so much for the 14 month uh, resub. 14 great months down, countless more to come. To all three of you, because you all had kind of similar things in your messages, um, thank you all so, so very much for your amazing resubs and for getting Hype Train started this early in the stream. <laughs> thank you so, so much, my lovely Lost Tales. Like, you guys always say such lovely things about my community, but it's, it's you guys. My lovely Lost Tales, who make it what it is. So I know you're all so wonderful at hyping me up and always showing your gratitude towards me with like your renew subscriptions, bit drops, donations, gifted subs, all that good stuff. But give yourself some credit because you are cool beans and you're amazing. And a huge thank you to Hayden for your 28 uh, month tier 3 Risa. Well, look what time it is. Is it time? for resub i believe it is time for resub and thank you so so very much hayden i really really appreciate it and guys we already have a level two hype train going at the station you guys are amazing thank you all so so much <laughs> oh i hope you're all doing well this evening and good to get that stretch check oh, out of the way at the start of the stream Oh, you guys. You're too nice to me. It's not at all going to my head. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, because uh, I was thinking about it, uh, where we left off last stream with Trespasser is we were in the library. One of my favorite places to be. And um, we'd already cleared out one section of it because we're trying to get to uh, another area and pulling all these floating bricks together. Um, a part of me thinks that we might actually finish this DLC tonight and get to the conclusion of um, uh, our Inquisitor's story. So we're just going to play by ear, but from what I can remember, we don't have much further to go. So um, tonight's stream could be a slightly varied in length a little bit it might be a little bit shorter might be a little bit longer but we're just going to enjoy the journey like Hayden you say let it go to my head but the thing is I'm really trying to find that like good line between being confident and coming across as arrogant because like guys I know I'm pretty fucking awesome and um it's just taken me a really, really long time to get to this point in, like, building self-confidence and all that. So I just worry, like, about letting it go to my head too much. Coming across as, like, super arrogant. And then not being as chill and fun anymore. Like, I'm not sure if Scarlet's here, but she already knows that I'm a massive pain in her ass. <laughs> so I worry about letting... Uh, success and my talent going to far into my head and then just becoming insufferable to all of my friends. <laughs> what happened to you? With terrified expressions. Uh, is there anything around here? Ah, I'm just going to take my time exploring things. Because I suck at combat in this DLC. Oh god, my vertigo could never. <laughs> Hayden! Oh my god, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits! I was born too late to explore the globe and too early to explore the stars, but just in time to enjoy the silky smooth voice of the Seraphim stories live in the Blue Rose Respite, so I'll call that a fair trade. 
Fuck you for getting me emotional. <laughs> oh, Hayden, that's so sweet. Thank you. Seriously, dude, thank you so, so much. Because you've been one of my supporters since my early years starting out on YouTube. So thank you. Thank you so much, Hayden. You're amazing. And Gigosh, thank you so much for the three-month Prime subscription. Good evening. In case Solus shows up the stream, make sure to put on your breast brave face on so he knows you're already over him. Oh yeah, totally over him. Totally over him. Not at all pissed off and letting it, like, curdle inside me. Um, but thank you so much, Gigosh, for the resub. I really appreciate it. Hello, Archivist. Welcome. And listen to the last words of those who walked this place. If we get out of here, I will end Fen Haral. After he held back the sky to imprison the gods, the dread wolf disappeared. Lies. We must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fen Haral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So. The ancient Elven Empire collapsed because the Veil weakened magic. If the old Elves relied on magic even more than the Vince, no wonder things went to crap when it dried up. Do you realize what this means? What this place is? The actual history of the Elves could change everything. That's why I bring my boys. And Cole, of course, because he's a precious bean and I love him. Scholars retreat. Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil <laughs> demon crap. <sighs> this is like the fade, only with falling to your death on top. <sighs> when this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. Never change, Iron Ball. Never change. Samuel, thank you so much for the 22 month resub. Ah, oh, I wish I knew what to say. My brain is crapping out on me because you're so amazing. I can't process it like a cosmic angel breaking my brain. Well, Samuel, I'm glad that at least I could be a form of consistency to you in the fact that I seem to delight you whenever I post something on Instagram or go live or just show my this mug to the general public so <laughs> thank you so much Samuel for the resub I really really appreciate it coming up to two years now on Twitch thank you so so much Speaking of awesome, arrogant, and confident, I started binging Castlevania this Wednesday. No spoilers, I'm still on season three. Yes, so no Castlevania spoilers for the rest of season three and season four for Salva Holder. So I was wondering if the Seraphim stories can manage the voice of Carmilla. Well, Pet, I can certainly endeavor to try. Oh, what fools these mortals be. Although the structure is oddly reminiscent of Dracula's castle. Hmm. I think I would enjoy my time here. Because, you know, for us vampires, gravity is a luxury that only we get to toy with. Research notes. These loose pages are scattered about as if abandoned in a great hurry. Algebraic looking formulae crawl across the pages, spiked with dense annotations in Kunlat. This looks like technical notes. What did the Kunari come here to learn? They're real technical. I can't make out any either. Something about magic. That's it. I recognize some formulas. The Kunari are trying to prove theoretical magic of some kind. Hmm. Curious. Though speaking of Dracula, it would not surprise me if he perhaps took a little tour through this realm. And perhaps it assisted with his own algebraic formulations when constructing his castle. My, 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 we've come to the end of a hype train, my dears. Thank you so much to all of you who gifted subscriptions and dropped bits. 
So generous of you. When the dread wolf's gaze is bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Hmm. Sounds like a sad little puppy who needs to be put in his place. Although it's a curious thing that our Inquisitor experiences pain when she walks into these rings. These circles of fire that seem to burn and blister her like the heated gaze of a jilted lover. Hmm. Okay, I seem to need to try to get up there. I wonder. No, this does not feel right. That feels right. Let me refresh that again. What did it say? When the Dread Wolf's gaze is bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Okay, so is the Dread Wolf looking down upon this area? I'm just going to save quickly. The Treachery of the Wolf. The pages of this book, Memory, warn of a terrible danger. A wolf with slavering black jaws and pits for eyes. The Evanurus, the elven gods, stand in a ring around it as if preventing it from attacking. Beware the forms of Fenharel. The dread wolf comes in humble guises, a wanderer who knows much of the people and their spirits. He will offer advice that seems fair, but turns slowly to poison. Remember the price of treason, and keep in your heart the mercy of your gods. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like a bad puppy. Requires veil fire. All right. Okay, there must be a way to bring veil fire up here. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. What am I missing? Hmm. Can't I just hit it and s fix this thing? I suppose not. Missing something. Oh, but we come to the end of that pick my voice from Salva Holder. Thank you so much for requesting Carmilla. Um, she has a very, a very lovely voice. Um, and so I hope I did her justice. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could get Veilfire from the Dread Wolf's eyes, but I didn't seem to be able to interact with him. Hmm. I'm looking to see if there's like a rune of Veilfire that I should be interacting with or something. I could just, of course, be an idiot. Oh. This looks promising. Hmm. 
I know this will lead to more, lead to more of an Easter egg. That should be enough stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. Oh, and I leveled up. Let's spend some more points to make sure I don't die. Um, let's see. You can have stray magic around weakened enemies. Have I already unlocked that? Oh no, I have to do that one first. You can pull, use stray magic around weakened enemies to increase the power status effects on them. Yes. Alrighty, I couldn't see a way to get the veil fire though. Although that seemed to unlock the thing I need to do, but it didn't do the thing with the dread wolf. When the dread wolf's gaze is bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Because when I activated it, I could almost hear something. Like something was being done in the background that I couldn't put my finger on. Yeah, maybe if I could get just a gentle nudge in the right direction, because I can't quite see what I'm missing. Because I have to pass through this purple fire in order to get up there. I'm just going to save again, because I can sometimes have been known to be an idiot. Hmm. Because that sounds like veil fire. If you can hear that kind of wispy magical effect. I need to leave a character near the alluvian that leads to the broken tower. Okay. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Oops. Is this what then the tactical vision is used for? Hang on. Okay, so if I leave. Oh god, I think I remember this actually being kind of annoying. Mr. Creepypasta, thank you so much for the 22 month resub, my friend! Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. You're amazing. Thank you so much for dropping by. Um, hmm. Actually, I might have done that wrong. I do not want to do that. Mm -mm. Honestly, I've been re-watching Castlevania 2. Um, I'm up to the midpoint in Season 3. Okay, you stay there. I want to see if this works. God damn it, no Dorian's with us. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Oh, tonight I am enjoying a Dark and Stormy, um, which is a dark rum cocktail with uh, ginger beer, and I ran out of limes, so I've just got lemon instead. Close enough! Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm doing something wrong. Like, Hayden, um, 
where you're looking, does it say that you enter tactical mode to leave someone there? Because, like, the, the party sticks together. I can't separate us. It's not bad with lemon instead of lime. Like, it's... It's not bad, but the lime adds that much more tropical feel to it, which I like. Um, it's not bad. It's just better with lime. Adding some more ginger beer. Hmm. It's like I can. Ah, brilliant. Hold position. God damn it, no, Dorian. Oh no, wait. Cole's there. Okay, that should work. It's fine, it's fine, suck it up, suck it up. Okay, I just want to see what this is. It might be something fucking stupid. I saw that. Let's so go through here. Hmm. Oh, I think I fucked it up somehow. Did I fuck it up somehow? Ah, uh, screw it. It can't be that amazing. Oh, look, canary to kill. Oh, and that's the circle of dead. Thank you, Hayden, for giving me the hint because honestly, I would not have gotten that in a million years. I think I'm vaguely recalling back to when I first did this DLC, I did need the guide in order to get a gentle nudge in the right direction. Come on, come on. Yes. I'm getting slightly better at this game.
Okay, Circle of the Dead. And there has to be something around here. Doesn't seem to be any way to interact with it, so I'm just. I want to try going through the alluvian. Okay, now we're back in the courtyard. Oh, good. Oh, good. This this isn't good. This is not good at all. Mm -mm. Fucking fuck. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have to try this again. Yep. Roteki, thank you so much for the subscription! <laughs> thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Big fan of your stories. Looking forward to new releases. Oh, you should be very excited then, because I have a new ASMR tale that's coming out tomorrow. Okay. So, honestly... I'm kind of sick to death with uh, this dread wolf bullshit uh, with the Veilfire, so I'm just going to hope for the best and brace myself for the worst because right on the other side of this is those fucking spirits. Oh, yep. Oh, Cole is such a good team. Okay. I'm just trying to focus on just one at a time. Fly cash. He lost an arm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. 
Where am I? There I am. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is not fair. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Um, I am trying my best, but failing fucking miserably. God damn it. Fuck's sake. Mm -mm. Yeah, sure. Just tell me what the prize would have been if I had gone through all this malarkey. Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Luna Hawk. Oh, I actually needed that. I was starting to already feel a little bit stiff from stress. I'm trying to get this fucking thing. Hello. Okay, mate, we all need to stay together. Very low on health potions, so now I grab the supply cache. I think I can do this. And this is on casual difficulty as well. Give me just a second. I'm just going to have a quick look at my inventory. Because I can't do anything, like, to my weapons, but I don't have anything else. Because we gave the Iron Ball a better great sword, so yep. It's got that sorted. Everyone else is... Out on their A game. Let me just check everyone's abilities. One second. Mm hmm. Hang on. I just want to do a quick check of people's abilities just to see if there's anything that they should be doing that they're not doing. Let's keep that as is. 
the iron ball because i just wanted to check if like they were still using their basic abilities when they could be doing something better i don't think so and coal i think is all good i mean he's perfect he's a precious bean <sighs> okay fuck it Yeah, honestly, this DLC does not take any prisoners. Um, hmm. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Gomna Steindruff. Mm -mm. God, I wish I could launch a nuclear missile. These fucking spiders. Oh, I don't think it's Dorian. I have to play as me. Inquisitor Lavellan. One second. I just need to get into gamer pose. Make sure I'm very comfortable. There, the librarian. Hello. Are you fucking stuck behind that? Come on. Yeah, I might have to give another shot at this. Shit. Siran Viramalas, Chivera Melabar. Oh, I think we've just got one more. Guys, I think we did it. I think we did it. <laughs> we did it, guys! <laughs> Save immediately. Oh my god! I'm usually not one to like actively seek out like difficulty in games, but Ooh, that was cathartic. Ooh, I'm very happy with that. I'm just gonna gather up all these little bits of spider bits. Ooh. Hell yeah, we're gonna live forever, kids! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Everyone good? Everyone good. I'm gonna save again, because I'm paranoid. Um... This was the right way, right? Cool. 
Nicole. Are you okay? Everyone stay together. Because now we should be able to keep going. Cole. I want everyone to stay together, goddammit. Okay. Let's save again. Okay. Now, there's a part of me that's just like, this feels kind of final. But we'll just see how this goes. Oh no. Hey guys. Survivor of the breach. Herald of change. Hero of the south. The Vidasala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the Breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. Uh, no, I know very much well my mark is a danger. Um, Portugalski, thank you so much for the four month resub. Thank you. And a uh, level tier two at that. Thank you so, so much for your amazing generosity. I really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, we don't have to fight. It's not too late to put our weapons down and talk. There's no need to pretend that you're blind to what you've begun. I am no stranger to catastrophe. But this chaos in the south defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. What are you gonna do about it? Then enlighten me about the Kuhn's plans for us. Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? That its consequences stopped there? The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why do you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Darvarad. Yeah, exactly. If you want my magic, come and fucking take him from me. Oh, this is not fair, though. We just get fucking swarmed by these guys. Straight after that fight with the librarians. That is some god-tier bullshit. Yep. Okay, um, I'm gonna just skip over the cutscene uh, when we experience it again. Because this feels like it's gonna be annoying. I I'm sorry if you're gonna have. This is gonna be a bit irritating for a while. Sir. Your duty is done in. This. I am. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own. Then enlighten me about the Kuhn's plans for us. Do you Come at me, bro. Kill. And I can't save after the cutscene. Fuck it. Okay, I'm doing the cowardly thing and I'm running to see if there's any supply caches that are hidden around here. You guys have got this right. Right? I know this is supposed to be like, like an epic standoff, but I'm like, fuck this. No.
God, there's so many of them. Oh yeah, my character is a very delicate uh, elven mage. I, however, have, like, I've got pretty good warrior arms. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, I was thinking, actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to try going through the purple fire. I'll give that another go in just a second. Hang on. God damn it. Okay. For fuck's sake. It's <gasps> fucking DLC. Your duty is done in the Kune left your people to curb your own do you the day we saw kill the inquisitor okay guys I'm sorry I'm gonna try and use that purple fire to my advantage maybe I'm so sorry to my team team members, but this is literally all I can do. I'm so sorry, guys. Mammy. Oh, is the game not going to let me do this? Fuck. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I am far from amused. Let me just double check what the difficulty I've got this set on is. Okay. Let's give that a try. Yes. I know you guys aren't going to give me shit for changing the difficulty, but I thought I had said it's casual. My mistake. Maybe it'll be slightly more merciful. Skip. Your um. duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time. The Kune left your people to curb. Then, do you believe the day? Oh yeah, then I'm even more uh, pleased by the fight with the librarians if that was on just like normal difficulty. Dorian, we need you. 
Help me. Do we have anything that can help us? Any potions, anything. Fuck. That little scream there, that's where my mind is at the moment. Because I'm determined to get to the end of this story. I'm determined. We've already come so fucking far. I will not be beaten by a poorly balanced DLC, god damn it! Your duty is done. It the Kune left your people to curb your own vermin. Do you the this kill the Inquisitor? Yes, I'm going to. Yep, it's on. Casual difficulty. Okay, I'm going to do something stupid and cowardly. I'm going to try running for the stairs. Fuck off. Yep, I really enjoyed um, the main game. I enjoyed it a lot. And I, I love this game so much. Why are you doing this to me, man? Deadpool, thank you so much for the 23 month resub. Coming up to two years now. Thank you so, so much. You're amazing. Thank you. <gasps> Sorry, you um, kind of arrived at a moment where I'm very much filled with rage. Survivor. I'll do my hydrate and stretch <laughs> checks while skipping through. Your duty is done, Cutscene. Because I've seen this really fucking times. You left your people to curb your own. Kill the Inquisitor. I'm sorry about this, everyone. I'm trying my darndest. Oh my god, it's an invisible wall. Fuck this nonsense. Are you fucking kidding me? I might just go quiet for a hot second, guys, because I just really want to try and concentrate on this. Come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, getting to the stairs worked. I'm going to try that. This might be one of the few times you're going to see me actually get pissed off at a game. Because, like, there's annoyed at, like, or as a kind of tongue-in-cheek, like, oh, that's, that's stupid. And then there's annoyed when you know you want to get to the end of this, but it's not even a good challenge. It's just annoying and tedious. Your duty is like, and I'm... It's, it feels it's, awful to say this about a game that I love so much. Your own magic. Then in light, do you, who kill the inquisitor? Fuck you. Fuck this nonsense. And yeah, I can't swap out party members or get new gear. I have like four health potions when I enter this area. And this is fucking bullshit. Okay. My last tethers of health, health left. I'm just going to look around. See if there's any kind of strategic advantage I can get. No, I'm dead. I'm just... Let this play out, let Dorian die. Mm. Oh, look at that, I'm not dead. Terrible. I don't even rage in an amusing or entertaining way. I just like, I seethe. I just, it's just white hot frustration and it just seeps out of all of my pores. Officer Black, absolutely. Lootly. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I do hope you're having a good time with us. I'm sorry that we're just kind of stuck at the moment. Oh my god, this is just insufferably bad. And there's no points to spend on leveling up my friends. No, that's fine. Nothing else I can do with my gear. No, we've got better armor for coal. Let me just have a look. Just quickly. Is there anything that I've missed back here that could be of use? Of 
Because wasn't there some things around here that maybe I could buy or sell some shit at? Maybe? Okay. Do you have anything of use? Okay, ridiculously overpriced gear that I cannot pay for. Fine. And the Iron Ball can't even use shields, so... Wasn't there someone else around here, maybe? Let me just have a little bit of a look. I can go through there, which is good. I can backtrack a little bit if need be. I don't think I'll be able to backtrack all the way to the Winter Palace though. But I need to so badly. Okay. I can do something to this though. Do I have anything different though? I might switch to that. Because I need as much as I can get. These guys are living. I'm going to switch this up. What else can I do? Iron Ball, do you have anything? Okay, Master Corrupting Rune, that's good for you. Against living. Cole, anything I can give to your weapons? Oh, that could be improved. Cleansing Rune, Master Corrupted, Demons, Dragons, uh, not really. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let me just go on my merry travels and see where this alluvian takes us. I just want to see how far back I can get and hopefully find some uh, health potions along the way. Oh, we can go all the way back to the Winter Palace. That's great! I, I'm glad I did save before I came back here, just in case. Please, do my do my potions re replenish, maybe? Winter Palace, the crossroads. Okay, I might be able to backtrack a ways way then. Okay, let me just try this, guys, because I was... I gave that battle a number of hits, and I don't want to waste your guys' time, or my time, uh, just grinding against, like, just trying to push our way through when it's clear that I am at a massive fucking disadvantage. Um, I'm just going to try and go as far back as I can, just see if there's any supply caches that I've neglected to pick up along the way. Okay. And this feels correct. Oh, that, that's sweet of you to say, Hayden, but I like things go with a sense of progression um, in the games that I'm playing. Okay, got ourselves a little bit lost. We didn't mean to come to the Deep Roads area. I wanted to try and get back to the Winter Palace. Oh, and Officer Black, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I didn't notice that earlier, but thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Hmm. And thank you for the hydrate, uh, Phoenix. Okay, I just have to remember. At the crossroads, we head up, 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 up. And that's where we get to where we need to go. Um, how do we get back to the Winter Palace? Let's try this one. No, wait, it was that one. That one went back to the Winter Palace. I swear to God, if the... If it's something like we get there, and then the Inquisitor's like, we can't go back yet. We still have to solve this mystery or some bullshit. I will 
th throw my fist through my fucking screen. Okay. Okay, we can go back. I've got all my potions again. Okay. Um, so I can make it back. I'm very believed about. I'm just gonna go restock all my fucking potions and have another look at everyone's weapons, because it was mostly the potions that was just like I no, no fuck no, no 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 no. We're not getting through this fight on four health potions. My regeneration potions. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Okay, can I improve anything on my armor? I think I've already got everything that I could equip. Let me just check weapons again. Hang on. If you have enough money, I would recommend to craft weapons and armor with the Fey Touch Silverite to build guard attacks uh, for your squishies. Good idea. Very good idea. Thank you for that. Um, let me just check what I've got. Okay, that's just a rune though. I can't really add anything extra onto that. But what does my armor say? And view deflecting apprentice arms and the battle legs. Yeah, I can improve that, I think. Let me just have a look and um, see if I can improve on that a little bit. Do I have fade touch? Hmm. No, I don't have anything fade touched. I think. Dragon webbing, though. Hmm. Lunahawk, I'm curious if you've ever thought about doing a Goliath audio in the future, because apparently there's barely any Goliath ASMR videos. Um, hmm. That's a good question. Um, I can't really think of, like, a new sort of character that I would do something different with, because if you want, like, deep voice and you know strong female character then you like watch my orc one but i because i haven't really played goliaths in D, &D and i'm not really familiar with them as much as uh, orcs um so i would consider it but the thing is i'm not really really sure what i could do with it if that makes sense okay Oh my god, Medloid man, absolutely just like the Inquisitor and her companions following behind her, just storming out of the Alluvian, and there's just like blood dripping from her nose, and she's just like, her hair's all over the place, and she just looks like she just dragged herself through the arse end of hell. Just... <laughs> Just, and uh, one of the guards comes over like, Inquisitor, are you hurt? And she just puts her finger up. No one talk to me until I've got a drink in me. And then uh, she just walks past and the Iron Ball just like comes over, like walking past uh, shortly behind her. He's like, better stay out of her way. Okay. Don't really have anything else that's fey touched other than snowflower skin. Oh, that just adds like cold resistance. 
You know what? I'm happy to give this another shot with um our new potions and everything. And let me just double check potions for the other guys. Hang on. Because I gave them potions. They just refused to have them. Oh, and I'm out of elf root. Fucking fuck. They never use their freaking potions. Okay, I'm gonna give this another shot. I'm gonna save again. Because with the new runes and more potions, and on a slightly high, uh, lighter difficulty, we should be okay. Is there something you need? Yes. Leave me alone. I have business to take care of. When I find the Dreadwolf, I'm gonna kick its furry ass. Right off the edge of the cliff. And then, like, we're getting the lineup of who to take with us. And I'm like, Dorian, Ironball, Cole, we're going back in. And Cole is just a saint, as always. And he's like, coming, Inquisitor. And the Ironball is just there, slams his drink down. And he's just like, I only do this because I'm getting paid. And I like hanging out with you guys and kicking people's ass. And Dorian is just like, no, Inquisitor, please do not request this of me. I love you, truly I do, my dear, but I cannot do it, go through this again. Please do not ask this of me. And you just like grab him by the scruff of his beautiful silk brocade and you're like, Come on, Dorian! No, Inquisitor, please! I get it that you're salty about your ex and you're taking out some very pent-up frustrations on these poor canari who are attacking our people and causing much havoc, but please do not ask this of me. You're a wonderful friend, one of my best friends in fact, but please do not make me do this. Iron Bull is literally like, oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> oh fuck. Hmm. Okay. Now it's just a straight shot through. is like, I'll go, but you need to promise me we'll go hunting a dragon after. And the Inquisitor just walks over, gently cups the Iron Wolf's face in her hands, and goes, We're not just going to fight one dragon. We're going to fight all of the dragons. And he just nods sagely, like, Good. Good. Oh, ah, uh, Fenrix, um, I'm enjoying, um, a dark and stormy cocktail in this evening. Okay, I feel slightly better about our chances now that I have potions again. And now that I know, I can go back if things turn completely tits up. Skip. Sorry. Your duty is done, Inquis- Like hell it is. You left your people to curb your own- The day we- This agent- Who is- Kill the Inquis- Okay, I am going to move around and get to higher ground on the stairs. Oh, thank you so much, Gigoosh. Like, the Iron Bull has a very particular way of speaking. He has a certain cadence to his voice. So, I'm glad that you think I did it justice. Thank you, Dorian. Oh, 
we have another pick my voice this time from Gigush. can i request uh more from your eyeable impression then well i can certainly oblige in that request after all <laughs> i aim to please But I swear, after this last favor I have done to the Inquisitor, I am never stepping foot in the fucking fade again! battle is done just just for fun i'm gonna cleave this guy from horns to toes you would think that getting hit in the face with a giant fucking axe again and again would teach him some manners apparently not since he's still here talking about bullshit. Well now. First try! <laughs> I call that a success. This scrap of parchment is written in both Kunlat and the common tongue, although the letters in Kunlat are shaky. Please excuse my Kunlat, its subtleties elude me even with your patient teaching. We pulled everyone out of the palace. Shem nobles assumed we were servants, leaving on an errand. We are hiding here to as we are hiding here where you told us. Sorry, we are hiding where you told us, waiting for signs that Dragon's Breath has begun. Victory is in the Kuhn. No wonder the Kunari translated notes into our language. It was for their non-Kunari spies. They'd have to. Kunlat's not an easy one to learn. Hmm. Best to save. Better safe than sorry. Although I do appreciate some danger every now and again. Oh, is my voice getting you all flustered, chat? <laughs> well, it's good to know that you appreciate the finer things in life. Such as a man with a very impressive set of horns, and a great big fucking axe. The Risk of Cerebus. This sheaf of notes is written mostly in Kunlat, but select paragraphs have been translated into the common tongue. Those born outside the Kuhn will not comprehend the seriousness of using mages to help us. They believe the worst that could befall a mage is demo demon possession. They do not truly understand that the loss of mastery comes with a loss of the self. Those of the Kuhn since birth do not understand why we risk using Cerebus. We have, we have immersed them in a sea of magic until it seems impossible they could ever do anything but drown. It is right that we enlighten you so your purpose here is clear. We have learned from this place that there lives, d lived an elven mage who saw a great wrong and sacrificed all to right it. This mage made the veil, which protects us from the Fade. This veil stripped power from his rulers, who had treated their people with such excess that it makes the southern kings and queens seem sta stated, stayed, seem poor. Thus does every action carry brightness and all parts converge. In his greatest magic, the elven mage became an agent of peace through the veil. 
In our willingness to brave this place, we may discover how the veil can be strengthened through our own mages. For that, we risk our lives. The Sarabas who have joined in this endeavor understand the dangers and have made their choice. Remember the words of Akshari Koslan. Existence is a choice. There is no chaos in the world, only complexity. Knowledge of the complex is wisdom. From wisdom of the world comes wisdom of the self. Mastery of the self is mastery of the world. Loss of the self is the source of suffering. Suffering is a choice, and we can refuse it. It is in our own power to create the world or destroy it. For peace, we will endure any horror here. We will create a safer world or destroy the old one. These are Vidasala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. A way to clamp down magic? No wonder she's here. It explains why the Kunari thought it was worth camping here. Hmm. Yes, but why, though? No. Alright. Let's see what lies ahead. And we come to the end of that Pick My Voice. Thank you so much, Gigush, for requesting the Iron Ball. Um, it, for me, it's a little tricky to sometimes do uh, voices for male characters, but you guys seem to like it when I make my voice especially deep with that sense of command and gravitas to it. And I enjoy doing it. Visitors, patrons, welcome. The halls are open. Can you tell me where a Kunari called Vidasala went? Yes, we heard much. Although she fooled herself into thinking we could not hear. Take a keystone to the Davarad. I will join you there soon and take stock of our remaining Gatlock powder. I found a keystone with one of the Kunari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davarad. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the paths. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. Oh. No. Yes, thank you. You've been very helpful. Gil de Thal was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One Elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. We've got to find the Starverad and corner Vidasala there. Okay. Oh, Samuel, you're too kind. Like, I've definitely learned uh, over the years of um, uh, the capabilities of my voice, for good and for bad. Um, but I, I think definitely having my voice, like, it naturally sits a, quite a bit deeper. It has that natural, natural sense of uh, gravitas to it. Return to the Winter Palace to warn the others. Yep, can do. I have an interesting question. Who would you say is your most powerful character from your ASMR tales? That is a very good question. Um, hmm. Let me have a think. Because, like, Cytaril is definitely up there. Like, she's a fucking blue dragon. Like, you do not mess with a blue dragon. Um. It depends on what type of power. Like,. Sidaral is there in terms of like raw might and majesty as a blue dragon. Um hmm. Like few things are as powerful as a vampire lord though, so the countess would also be up there as well. Um in terms of just like raw power, she was only in one video, but do you remember um 
that video, that ASMR tale that I Your made. Your agents oh. confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. Wait, what? We're the leak? They came in through us? Yes. How damn it! The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canaris spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're part of the problem. We still do good. What's done is done. We can still turn this around, right? The Inquisition stopped Corypheus and saved the world. We can't let an outside threat change who we are. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies. You hid the Kunari body. You all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. I'm not gonna say don't worry about it. I'm I'm pissed. I am pissed. Not just with the frustration of uh, tonight, but just like, God damn it! Shit, damn it! We save Ferelden, and they're angry. We save Orle, and they're angry. We close the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? I need to get to the Darbarad. You can all fight amongst yourselves once I've... Once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yep, inform them, have them make arrangements if need be, and just make sure that they're safe. Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana... I can. No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. Oh, fucking hell. I also just love that moment of just like, the Inquisitor just like, fucking done with this shit. Oh. And she's very much channeling my energy. Use the keystone to activate the Alluvian leading to the Devard. Okay, I'm just gonna get any last supplies, I think, because then I think that'll be it. It will be the end. Wait, is there fireworks happening? Hang on. Pretty. Like, I, this would be a point of celebration and ooh, nice, if it wasn't like doom and disaster looming overhead.
Okay, I need herbs. There we are. Good day. Would you care to trade? Yes, I need elf root. Regular good old elf root. So I just want to make sure that my lovely friends have potions. Anything else that's useful? That looks cool. I cannot afford that though. And this is more other crafting things and stuff. Dreadwolf, don't push your luck. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me, Lunar Hawk. Um, the one I was talking about before uh, with the strongest characters. Um, do you remember the ASMR tale I made that was right at the end of 2020 and it had uh, the ghost like uh, specter? And she was uh, an entity that moved behind mirrors and she had been watching you, the listener, uh, throughout the year and s so proud of uh, you making it through and all that. Um, just that idea of that kind of entity where it isn't like a distinctive monster but it's some kind of ethereal ghost like force that I think is a power unto itself um, I have thought a little bit about like what they what uh, she was and um, all that so I think she'd probably be one of the most powerful but definitely like Cytaril is up there Cytaril is definitely up there Save. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. We're heading to the very end of the game. We're definitely going to be finishing the DLC tonight. Mm -mm. Oh, Nyx as well, but she's not one of like my characters. She's um an already existing character, and she's wonderful. I think she'd definitely be up there as well. Same with Persephone. Is this it? It's pulling you apart. Oh. We all knew this was probably our last time out together. Let's make it a good one. We helped. All of us. I won't forget. Enjoy me while you can. I expect you'll all miss me terribly later. It's been an honor to kick asses beside you all. Anan. My boys! Oh yeah, the Reverend would also be up there as well. Reverend Delilah. Wish me luck, guys. We got this. And I'm gonna try my damnedest. If in doubt, we can always go back to the Winter Palace and resupply. Okay. Save. Save. So this is the Dalvarad. Look at this. It's an alluvian graveyard. Where did the Kunari get all these? How long have they been studying Alluvians? And the sooner we stop this invasion plan, the better.
Alluvian studies, the writing on these pages is completely incomprehensible, even to a native speaker of Kunlat. Um, oh, sorry. The handwriting resembles the scratches of an inebriated chicken, but the drawings are meticulous and excruciating careful study of several Alluvians, along with exploded diagrams of their inner workings. Okay, I also have to look for more environmental stuff. I wish I could say I'm surprised that Pitasala wants to murder everyone, but it makes sense. We tell stories about how corrupt the South is. Who wouldn't want to kill the evil nobles and save the people? Okay. I'll take care of Fenrix. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Quite the door. We'll get it open somehow. Belt of Retaliation, Gatehouse Key. Okay, let's have a look around for anything of use. Logs of uh, Davrod Gatekeeper. The entries of this book are written in several different hands and occasionally even different languages. From the few entries in the common tongue, it appears to be a log filled by the various guards who have watched the gates of the Davrod. Morning. Artifacts brought in by Sarah Kiv. Original location not on manifest. Asked uh, Iskari was told they're from ruins. Please remind agents that all relics must be properly catalogued. Um, or the Tarabas will never stop complaining about it. Afternoon. Three kits deployed, including Iskari of uh, Hisra Kith. Told her to write down locations in a manifest this time. Evening. Hisra Kith reported back. Iskari handed me a manifest that just said, Outside Davrod. Asking my stern for a knife. Okay. Let me just level everyone up. Let me just check something. Do you have that ability? Hang on. So there was something I saw you could you had as an ability. Hmm. 
I'm gonna get rid of that cloak of shadows because I need that instead. That focus. Let me just do a quick check round for healing potions and the like, and I'll grab that Veilfire torch. What was it? Oh, did it despawn? Ah, anyway, I'll have a look around. <laughs> okay. Sarah, this letter was clearly written a few lines at a time over the course of multiple days as the ink at the start has already faded slightly. Elf, who is Talus. It is no longer my role to instruct others in the Kiln, but I will share what I can with you if it brings you peace. You are not alone in your struggles to achieve mastery of yourself and your purpose. Many Vitarthri come to the Kiln filled with fear and anger. These feelings build walls brick by brick within the self. They prevent you from seeing the others around you, from seeing the world as it is, and they convince that you that you are alone in darkness, and in darkness, that you must fend for yourself. The walls are real, but the darkness and the solitude, the world that they create within the self, that is all illusion. You must work to tear down the walls if you wish to see the truth. And the truth is, no one is alone. It was the wisdom revealed to Con uh, Koslin in- I was about to say Konshu. Koslin in the desert long ago. What looks like solitude is connectedness. What looks like darkness is only the space between stars. This portion of the letter is slightly newer, and the handwriting, which is ex was exceptionally tidy at first, has become somewhat looser, as they've written in a hurry. And it is not just vid uh, vid Vidarthari who struggle with these illusions. The world changes the self, and we must balance mastery upon its turning tides. Once I was in Ashkari, and I spent my days examining the philosophy of the Kuhn and trying to seek the enlightenment that Koslin found. But my dreams of demons took me down a new path. Here the writing is filled with crossed out passages, and the script becomes shaky, some of the ink is still wet. And now with the song liquid crossed out. And now I study the dam which holds back magic at its source. We will cross out. It is our purpose to cross out. Things change, little Talus. The world changes. Find purpose in people around you, and your role will be clear. Remember when crossed out. It will not be hard to find wisdom in the noise. The noise is an illusion, like the darkness, but the walls are real. Remember that. Town tear down the walls first, and you will see the truth from south. I'll take that. Anything interesting up here? Lyrium. Do the Kunari have any idea what they're dealing with? The song is different, but the pieces fit together. It didn't work. It didn't work. What didn't work? One sees the hunter, one flees from it. One hunts it in turn, one outwits them all. Hmm. Scrap of writing from a Ben Hasroth agent. Excavated mural, but relieved to be self portrait of Fen Harrell. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? A great many-eyed wolf, perhaps manifesting as a wise sage. That's fucking bullshit. Well, that didn't do the trick. Hmm. What was that again? One sees the hunter, one flees from it, one hunts it in turn, one outwits them all. Ah, mm. uh, no, I don't want to do any weird synchronization stuff now. And I'll look around to see if there's any. Anything useful? Ooh, like that's a fly cache. Is that an Australian? How did the Kunari move it here? A word of advice stay away from the glowing pyramid.
Okay, everyone is all healed up. Iron Ball, I'm just gonna make you drink one last potion. Resupply that supply cache. Save. Okay, so that is lit. I'm just gonna see if I can solve this puzzle. I think we just have to light all the braziers, but that one first. Maybe that's what happens when you switch the difficulty down. Your Inquisitor went from Mark Spectre to Jake Lockley. Ha 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 ha! Oh, to say that I'm really hyped if for a season two of Moon Knight to be greenlit is an understatement. That seems to have done something. I don't know what it did. But I think I did something right. Yes. Cole, I have a present for you. Bloody bargain. Oh, and it's better than both of my other weapons. Uh, both of Cole's other weapons. Yes. 70% heal on kill, stagger on hit. Oh, that's lethal and I love it. Can I? Oh, no, wait, I don't have, um, I'm not close to any come here to modify weapon. Well, that's okay. I got something very nice. Save. And let me just check up here before we proceed. Oh no, wait, I already went up there. I'm an idiot. Just a little bit nervous. Yes, do the thing to the other thing. Sorry, I'm not good with things that don't have feelings. Oh, sweet baby. Hmm. Puzzle time, I think. Hmm. Then we try this one. Hmm, my mistake. Okay, then I think I just do this one and then I should be good to open it. There we go. Save. Oh no way, the other one is locked. Never mind, let me just try that again. There we are. we save
come on, come on, come on. I'll do that stretch check in just a second when we have a moment. Yes, thank you, Hayden. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Written instructions for new workers. While some of this letter is written in Kunlat, most of it is common tongue. The letter is blocky and simple but tidy. The dragon's breath must continue regardless of concerns of the Winter Palace. Many are new to the Kunin and have not yet learned to trust. Your worry is understandable. The rest of the world has betrayed you. All who have been to the Darvraj know the difficulty of maintaining the specimen for extraction for as long as we have. If we delayed dragon's breath, we would have... Uh, have to dispose of the specimen. Creating Gatlog is normally a slow process requiring much mining and careful alchemy. Venom extraction offers the only means to deliver the Dragon's Breath quickly and in large quantities. To b delay Dragon's Breath is to lose any chance of bringing peace to the South without needing needless suffering. The Kuhn demands that we save the workers of the South from a bloody war and deliver them into our teaching before corruption leads, uh, sorry, before corruption further overtakes the land. Others have voiced concern over the specimen. The Kyun does not demand cruelty to any living beings, but all creatures have a place and duty under the Kyun. The specimen serves as it must. When Dragon's Breath is complete, it will be extinguished quickly and painlessly, as when we slaughter animals for food. Allow your spirits to deal with the agents of Penharel and remember your role in the service of the Kyun. Hmm. What specimen are they talking about? Ooh, that looks like a nice belt. Belt of retaliation. Iron ball, what have you got? Okay, I'm going to wear that belt of retaliation, because that is good. Um, core based abilities are much more powerful at the cost of a large amount of health. No, 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 no. What necklace am I actually wearing? Like, Kitty's Collar, I've been wearing that, and I think it's actually saved my bacon a couple of times. Um, Guardian Spirit blocks one melee attack every 30 seconds. On dying, 75% ch chance to heal for half health. Honestly, I think that's what's been bringing me back again and again. Journal notes found in the barracks. There are several entries in this journal, some in Kunlat and some in Common. As if the writer was practicing their language skills. The last page reads, Sent to palace again, moving things along. Bas Shems never notice when, uh, sorry, never notice who comes or goes. When the dragon's breath comes, they won't know what hit them. <laughs> okay. That's not anything down there. Precious angel, I love you. Oh, something interesting in there. Oh, it's another supply cache. Okay, um, I'm not going to use it yet because we've got 10 out of 12 potions still, but good to know that there is one there. Oh, actually. Ooh. This looks interesting. Study. Dragon's Breath uh, Plan. This document appears to be write written in Tiling Kunlat, but it contains a number of complicated diagrams, including detailed blueprints of Halam Shiral and a number of other place, palaces and fortresses. Varigan said the key to an alluvian could be anything, including knowledge or power. So they're stockpiling both. That's how they got the keystone and opened so many of the alluvians we've seen. Hopefully they don't have any more ancient magic crap to throw at us. 
That dragon skull would make a wicked armchair, though. <laughs> Maybe we could take it back to Skyhold after this. Fuck yes. Always the optimist. Uh, the Saryan Ark, how's it going? Welcome! Letters and replies. A letter with the Inquisition seal sits half buried in a pile of memories to the Honorable Selassari, uh, Triumvirate of the Kyun. On behalf of the Inquisition, I must humbly inquire as to the hostile actions of your agents in Halam Shirao. The Iron Bull has consulted his immediate superiors and contacts within the Ben Hasrath to no avail. It is our understanding that the Inquisition and the Kunari Nation were allies. Why then are our people being attacked by Ben Hasrath agents, and why have we found Kunari Gatlock hidden around the Exalted Council? If your illustrious personages can offer an explanation, we will be glad to hear it. If not, we must consider these to be acts of war. Respectfully, Ambassador Josephine Montillier. Several incomprehensible messages in Kunlat follow. A letter written in common in elegant script has been torn open and crumbled into a ball, but the writing is still legible. To Ambassador Josephine Montelier of the Inquisition, the Salashari have no knowledge of any operations occurring in Halam Shirao and are investigating your claims of Gatlog being used in the south. We regret that we are unable to divulge any information regarding current Ben Hasrath activities at this time, but we hasten to assure you that our partnership with the Inquisition is one we value highly. Hmm. So it was, I, from what I was getting from that, it was confirmation that Josephine was looking for, like, the Iron Ball isn't involved in this, right? And they're like, fuck no, he isn't. It's Iron Ball. He's got a the in front of his name and everything. Okay. I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna save. Because through that door, it feels like there's a cutscene coming on. And if I fuck up and die, then I'll grab that supply cache and then we'll try it again. Fucking called it. Yes. Dragon's breath is an actual dragon. Kepa, Bars. Inquisition. Nira Tafiasara. Nira Vasadim Kada. His rat now, please. Understood, ma'am. What? Change of plans. Nothing personal. But no. Fool. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, you don't get to fucking do this to me, man. Just for the life of me, when I was playing the main game, we couldn't. I couldn't get his main quest, his personal quest started. Like, I tried interacting with him and talking to him on multiple times, but his personal quest just never clicked. No! Guys, I already feel terrible. Don't make me feel worse, please. Canary and see where it gets you. 
I oh. didn't feel it. There wasn't any pain. Bishan to confess. I can't believe it. I still don't understand how he could fight beside us for years and just... Oh, come on. Let's move. The fucking fuck. I go back and grab those potions now or is it like no you have to stay no we can't go back thank the maker okay I'm making a new save game because all these individual save games I'm not saving on top of the save games so if these go completely tits up Still make this work. Oh. Okay, and there's another supply cache. Okay, good, good, good. Animal Handler's Logbook. The first half of this logbook appears to be notes on the care and feeding of animals in the Free Marshes Lord's Manor. After that, it shifts into practice phrases in Kunlat. Later, it begins again with the following. Beast presents ch ch chafing around limbs and tail, likely from attempts to use chains. While its natural strength remains, muscles are slack from confinement. Tathras Tathradas said she initially tried uh, drugging the beast, but the amount required to keep it sedated changed the quality of its venom, so that it no, was no longer useful in producing Gatlock. She says fire has kept it under control, while the heated panels kept it in a state of comfortable drowsiness. Uh, Tadjathra says uh, it's not as good a deception sh as she thinks she is. She does not like we. Are, she does not like we. Like, she does not like what we are doing to the beast. She calls it a tashi, which means something like great thing, and she repeats it sayings from the Kyun to herself when she extracts the venom. I do not disagree with her. I saw enough harm done to innocent beasts in my lord's sneering commands. The beast, the Atashi, deserves uh, better than the pry bars and needles we use upon each time we drain its venom gland. Da -da -da -da. Tadalathas says I may need be needed at the Winter Palace. It's likely that some few elves with suspicion, thanks to these attacks on the, by the agent of Fenrir, but a human woman may still pass unnoticed among the servants. She says I may be asked to deliver more Gatlock in different containers. She says that it could be dangerous, and that if I do not return, most will assume I am dead. As I said, Tadalathas is not as good as deception she thinks she is, but she is right. I do not join the queue for this. Okay, not touching that supply cache just in case. Okay, we're freeing the dragon. I cannot kill that thing without a tank. The Canari obviously need the dragon's venom. No dragon, no more 
She's scared. She doesn't want to be here. They hurt her. Yep. Free the dragon. Just let her kill all of them. The dragon is our tank now. Now, isn't that just the weirdest twist of irony? Mishara. Okay, there has to be a way to free the dragon. Let me have a look around. That's open, then I think we kind of need to like herd her out. Okay, you guys have got this. Okay, I think we just have to get to both of those. Go, 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 go. What am I doing wrong? Come on, shit, 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 shit. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was something to do with the flames, so let me give that a try. Guys, I know I'm asking a lot from you right now, considering one of our dearest friends turned on us. I just watch my back. I am doing okay. Okay, that is blocked. It's blocked like I need to destroy these or something. Hang on. They won't go away. Okay, it says that this, this last outer ring is blocked somehow, but it's not showing me how to fix it. Okay, I'm gonna try interacting with the torch to see if that does anything. 
No, it doesn't do anything. I can't interact with it. Alright, Inquisitor Hand, I'll give that a try. Come on. There we go. Thank you, guys! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I might need to give this another try. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this fight another try. Yep. Kitty's collar. Very, very useful as it turns out. Okay. We'll grab that water potions in just a hot second. Okay, first things first. obviously need the dragon's venom. No dragon, no more plan. She's scared. She doesn't want to be here. They hurt her. First things first. Get that outer ring in place. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Tonight's been quite eventful and very emotional. I can do that. Guys, you keep drinking those health potions. I got this. And yep, Acid Spinning Dragon is our new tank because I was a fucking idiot and the game wouldn't let me complete the Iron Bull's personal quest and then he betrayed us. You've got it. It's opening. One more. She's free. She's leaving. Yes! You have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven magic already tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. The Inquisition has nothing to do with these agents. Come, Inquisitor. I am the eyes and ears of the Canari people. Do you think you can deceive me? You would have died from the mark on your hand, but for the help of one of their chief agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach, who led you to Skyhold, who gave Corypheus the orb, then founded the Inquisition. Solus, agent of Ben Harel. 
I'm not his fucking puppet though. Whatever Solus is involved in, I am nobody's puppet. Even now, you refuse to see the strings. Solus tricked us all. He pushed a dying Canari into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. Hannah Hayden, Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. We shall fucking see then. Dorian is just like, fuck this shit. Inquisitor, you go off and have your spat with your ex. I'm going to be sitting here pretty right here. I'm so sorry, I and Bull, you deserve better. Cass. I don't think we can do much of an interaction. Um, I think it's just for this next bit. Oh no. Are you guys ready? You're not ready. The Vidasala cannot have gotten far. Cassandra, nice to see you. You guys are not ready. Up there. It's going to everyone back. Ah! Anchor meltdown. The anchor now builds up power even faster. Using it is difficult, but it discharges all accumulated focus. If the focus reaches full power, the anchor discharges uncontrollably, damaging you and your allies as well as nearby enemies. If it keeps up like this, it will kill you. Solus must help, as he did at Haven. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. The Canari don't see. Oh. Why must you make me feel so many conflicting emotions? I noticed that Dorian was very quiet during that. He's like, Fine, go back to your ex. I'm sure this will all end wonderfully, dear. Be where Solus is. game is such a chokehold of my emotions. Good and bad.
Thanks so much, Wolf Warrior. You take care, okay? Uh, Cass, are you stuck somehow? Okay, there we go. I was wondering why I was like, why is everyone fighting except for Cass? It's all good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, 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 I forgot to discharge it. God damn it! No! Okay, good. Supply cash. Good, good, good. We were running low. Shrine to the Dread Wolf. This motherfucker.
on. Oh yeah, the soundtrack, honestly, this DLC for all its faults it has a really good soundtrack and it makes the battles feel so epic. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, I'm just like laser focused on this because we've had really rotten luck tonight so I really want this fast fight to go well. Okay, good. Another supply cache. Potion. 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 Save. Honestly, I love the media spell so much. It's just, it is wonderful. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing.
Oh yeah, and seeing the trees like shake from seeing from the impact of uh, your attacks and the radius just it's, it's, it's real cool. It's real cool. I love the, all the little details like that. Oh. Okay. Can I save? Okay. Let's finish this. You are dead, Inquisitor. Your soul is dust. Okay. Because some people leveled up. Just want to make sure everyone is good to go. Is there anything down here? Or am I just being paranoid? Nope. Just the fight. Wish me luck, guys. You know what, for all my frustration earlier tonight, it, and it's finally come to this, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Despite all the bullshit. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, I think this is the final boss of this DLC. This feels very final boss. And it's certainly an endurance test, I'll tell you that. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Okay, save. Wish me luck, guys. Because this is gonna hurt. You're not ready. Are you guys getting ready to get your emotions fucking wrecked? have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. trying to kill you. I wanted to get here first. I know. They sought an agent of Fan Harrell. I am no one's agent but my own. I fear that the truth is much simpler and much worse than the Canari believe. You're Fan Harrell. I was soulless first. Fan Harrell came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. And now you know. What is the old Baelish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? And so he did. I did not. I would not lay with you under false pretenses. But you lied to me. I loved you. Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Hear Abelas, Fanan. Tell Abelas. If you care, give me the truth. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel. And when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus, I freed the Elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. You love the Fade. Why would you create the Veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the Veil, the Evanuris would have destroyed the entire world. You banished the False Gods. You didn't kill them. You met Methol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the Elven Gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithal. <laughs> A crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. The Evanuris were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, and finally gods, the Avenuris. A 
Uh, how did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the Elves. Even themselves. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Solas, whatever you want, this world dying is not the answer. Not a good answer, no. Sometimes terrible choices are all that remain. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition, your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen'Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheia should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the Veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. I never thought of you as someone who would do that, Solus. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Isn't it? Perhaps we should ask your friend, the Iron Bull. Tell me, where is he? Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading you to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Kunari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kuhn. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. So you let us do your dirty work? The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. 
You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canaries stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Alluvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the Anchor. It's getting worse. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. <laughs> Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. Come on, ba come on, baby, do this for love, please. I wish it could, for now. My love. Never forget you. We cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, none of us would be here to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. Okay. Okay, so it's either the Inquisition is disbanded or it will serve Divine Victoria. Okay. They're still holding out hope that maybe things can change with Solus with the power of love from the Inquisitor. We will keep the peace. We, the Inquisition needs to stay together. You all know what this is? A writ. From Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. I'm proud to say we accomplished that goal. We will honor the sacrifices of those who gave their lives in defense of what we stood for and still stand for. Because our work is not done. Where we led in war, we will now serve in peace. The Inquisition will act as Divine Victoria's personal honor guard. Answering directly to her, we will transition from a military force into a peacekeeping organization. My own adventuring days may be done, but the Inquisition and its mission will continue. Ha, 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 ha. 
Ne never change, Barak. We love you. God, my heart is so full of emotion right now. Okay. Over the next several months, the Inquisition carefully gave over many of the duties that it held. I don't believe there's any over narration, so I'll take care of that. As the Divine's personal guard and peacekeeping force, the Inquisition shrank to a more manageable size. Many who had served went home, though the remaining force was still enough to give pause to any who might threaten the Divine's plans. Those who served the new Inquisition were tested and checked thoroughly in the hopes of fettering out any more spies within its ranks. With the dragon's breath disrupted and any hope of a swift victory dashed, the Canari retreated back to the north. Few knew what debates were waged in Parvolen, but not long after the Exalted Council, the Canari launched new attacks against Tevinta. Their aggression caught the already unstable Imperium off guard. Tevinter was soon mired in a war many feared could spread across Thedas. Cassandra continued her reign as Divine Victoria, rebuilding fractured alliances and settling the Inquisition into its new role as her personal guard. Her efforts were successful, and... For a time, Southern Thedas saw peace. Cassandra also spent time in the Hunterhorn Mountains north of Orlay, where she worked to rebuild the Seekers. For a time, she knew Seekers remained reclusive, showing no interest in worldly affairs and working to a purpose few outside their order could guess. Some believe that the end of the Inquisition has been, has it, as it had been heralded, the destruction of the fledgling College of Enchanters. Having clashed with the circle, the college now found itself within now found itself without support against the newly elected Grand Enchanter Vivienne. Fortunately, Grand Enchanter Vivienne grudgingly agreed not to destroy its terrified leaders as a personal favor to Divine Victoria. The two institutions settled into an uneasy coexistence across the South, vying for power. Liliana continued to act as the Inquisition's spy master in its final months as an independent organization. During this time, she shared many of her responsibilities with her most trusted agents, including Carter, Rector, and Harding. Many believe that Liliana feared what lay on the horizon, feared what lay on the horizon, and was grooming successes in anticipation of the challenges ahead. Sarah left the Inquisition with scarcely more ties than she began, disappearing back into a confusing weave of favours and friends. 
you rapscallion. After seeing the world brought to the brink by arrogance and pride, it was a blessing to return to normal, however strange and normal it might be. With frequent visits to Obudu, of course. Oh, Sarah gets with Scout Harding? Okay, that's really cute. I love that. I really love that. Perhaps most unnerving was Sarah's standing offering to the Divine. When the knobs piss about on your left hand or right, call on Red Jenny to give him two fingers. Oh, Sarah, never change. Varric took up the role of Viscount and, with the help of his friend Hawk, rebuilt Kirkwall's damaged infrastructure. Oh, Varric, you secretly love it, don't you? Under his rule, the city-state finally resumed its place as the major trade hub of the Free Marshes. He continued to ignore all mail from both the Merchant's Guild and the Prince of Starkhaven. <laughs> God damn it, Varric. It was never clear if the Iron Ball knew he would be forced to turn on the Inquisition, or if he was lying the entire time. Regardless, after his death, Val Tal Vashroth the mercenaries across Orle and Ferelden were looked upon with suspicion. Those who remained in the south found their lives even harder as a result. I am so sorry, the Iron Bull. You deserved better. After the Inquisition transitioned to a peacekeeping role, Cullen continued to serve as commander of its forces. Under his leadership, the Inquisition protected the Divine's interests while enforcing new standards of security. Cullen also expanded the Chantry's treatment for Templars whose minds were taken by Lyrium, as well as those who wished to cease Lyrium usage. And as chaos reigned in the north and threats to the Divine lurked in every shadow, Cullen remained ready to serve. Dorian returned to Devinter to take his father's place in the Magisterium. Oh, Dorian, we love you. As rumors flew about the Imperium's infighting, Dorian was spoken of often as a voice of resistance against corruption. Along with Magister Mevaras Tilani, he formed a group called the Lucinari to restore and redeem Tevinter, a fight many thought hopeless. Those fighting by Magister Parvis's side noted that he kept in constant communication with the Inquisitor via message crystal. He's still my best friend though! Whether for vital information or for moral support, these talks seem to give Dorian the strength to continue his fight. Tom Rainier was shown mercy when none was deserved and set on a path of redemption. His, this gift, so compassionately given, needed to be shared. Freed from his obligations to the Inquisition, Rainier travelled Thedas, giving hope to the condemned and the forgotten. In the deepest prisons and pits of Thedas, he found, if not goodness itself, its potential. 
by showing faith in those who had none, Rainier lifted them up and made them into something better than they were. After easing the Inquisition's transition into the Chantry, Josephine returned to Antiva and her family. Seeing Josephine with her hair out, that's new. Thanks to the Inquisitor's help, the Montilliers were once again permitted to trade in Orlais. The next few years were a busy time, as many ships with the Montilliers crest were built and set sail again from Antiva's harbours. Soon, Ravani pirate captains with an ancient feud against Josephine's ancestors took to the seas, determined to rekindle the rivalry. Apart from Josephine's sister, Yvette, nearly eloping with a dashing pirate prince on one occasion, Lady Montelier took the development in stride. God, it would be just like Josephine to like have her sister fall in love with a pirate king. <laughs> Cole returned to the Fade, saying that there was more pain coming, and that he knew where compassion would be most needed. My baby, my boy. He promised that his friends in the Inquisition would remember him, and that where the hurt was greatest, he would help. Fuck, why does Cole always get to me? After the events at the Winter Palace, elves left the Inquisition under mysterious circumstances, as did elven servants across Thedas. None could say where they went, but those who believed the Inquisitor's story about Fen Harrell wondered just how large the Dreadwolf's forces were. And what the ancient elven rebel had planned. Who knows? Lavellan sometimes came awake from dreams in which her lover watched her sadly from across an endless distance. Oh, if they were from, if they were more than simple dreams, she could not say. For every time she reached for him, he vanished into nothing. Still, she searched and dreamed and waited for a way to change the Dread Wolf's heart. vulnerable to agents of the Dread Wolf. But also gives us the strength to respond. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solas knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can. And that was Dragon Age Inquisition. I wanted to play the DLC as like the full wrap up of this amazing story. I know I had my frustrations earlier tonight, but God fucking damn it, do I love this game. Sorry, I'm not sure if that was really loud for you guys, but God damn it, do I love this game. Like, I've played this game so many times. So many times, you guys. And coming back, rekindling that love of it again after not playing it for such a long time. God fucking damn it, do I love this game. Yep, Tell and I absolutely agree. The gameplay, 7 out of 10. Storytelling, 10 out of 10. 
It's so good. It's so fucking good. And my god, I have sunk so many hours into this game. And I love it so much. Um, yeah. And Solace, you egg-headed bastard. God damn it. Every time, almost every time, I pick him to romance. Because maybe I'm just... I'm just a sucker for broken men. <laughs> oh, it's like the fantasy nerd in me. It's like, yes. Yes, I want my romance, like my love interest, to be a complicated and standoffish scholar who turns out to be a fucking literal god of the elven pantheon. Because, you know, don't settle for less. Um, but god fucking damn, like, just that last conversation that you have with Solus and just that... It, God damn it, it just hits, it hurts, and it fills my heart with so many emotions. Oh my god. <laughs> and I really hope to all of you who have been watching my streams of this amazing game have enjoyed yourselves, because I think there were some people who were saying that you've never played this game before, and God damn it, I really hope that you had a wonderful experience with me, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, there's so many different ways that the story can unfold. Like, of course, if you don't do particular personal quests for different characters, you saw what happened with Iron Ball. Like, there's times... Is this a new book? Cass? Oh, this shit is weird. Oh, Varric, that is a terrible title. What are you even thinking? Um... So... I do have an idea of what game I might play next for my Friday game. I, I need to try it out a little bit. Sea on a dark and stormy night, centered on a gaping hole that led to the arse end of nowhere. A hole that spit up many things that day. Comets, demons, and a whole lot of trouble. <gasps> it's about the Inquisition. Ah. <sighs> But oh, goddammit, I love this game so much. Uh, Cass, stop interrupting me. Like it owed the Carter money. In the middle, in her element, Red Jenny. She looked me up and down, mostly down. Not playing, weirdy, she said, gesturing with and dismissively eating a sandwich. Don't write that. Seriously, piss up a row. Sarah made the subtext text, which suited me fine. Cass trying to do an impression of Sarah is just so good. The court enchanter swirled into the room like a drop of beautiful poison spreading in a wine glass. She sized me up with a glance. I'm so glad you made it, my dear, she said. I am Madame the Fair, the most terrifying person you shall ever meet. Is she going to do an impression of everyone? Oh my god, I've forgotten about this. Liliana enfolded Alphonse in an embrace as warm as a serpent's kiss. I always knew I could count on your support. The Count did not feel the bite of her poison dart until it was too late. Even if it requires your death. This is what I think I sound like when I do impressions of the characters for you guys. Like, with just as much panache. Drops of rain glistened on the griffin medallion grasped tightly in Blackwall's hand. The silver eye wings of valor. They mean nothing. He flung the medal to the cold and uncaring ground. You don't know what I've done. You don't know me. <gasps> Cass. God damn it. Oh my god. I like to think Cass is sitting in bed reading, but it's loud enough that there is a small crowd gathering in the hallway to listen. Absolutely. Cold like a shadow that also moved like a knife. A shadow wearing a hat where dreams came to die. It's a riddle, he whispered. 
A cold riddle that gnaws at your mind, but you'll feel better when it's gone. That makes as much sense as anything Cole says. It does, it really does. Like, I imagine Cassandra's personal guards, because she's the divine, like, standing outside a door, and just over time they get really invested in her, the story she's reading. Place your herald above the law, Ambassador. Whose law, my lady? Josephine's eyes glittered like angry opals. The law destroyed by rebellion, by civil war, by poor fiscal management. We are the law. You know, I was starting to worry that this stream would be short tonight. Um, turns out to be one of my longest in a while. Adamant, but the dust hadn't settled, and neither had Harding. I can offer you a drink, if I catch your meaning. If you caught my meaning, you'd have offered a double. What is even happening here? God damn it. Also, I like this music, it just makes me happy. A great slab of muscle with horns that could hang a tapestry. One eye scanned for threats, while the other hid behind an eye patch like a chantry sister's old sins. Come on, he barked, not looking back as he entered. The dancer with the great rack comes on in five. That is spot on, actually. <laughs> Oh, this goddamn game fills my heart with so many emotions. All of them the wonderful. Wanda had the look of a Templar who had seen the worst of humanity, yet still had the time to style his hair. This isn't just a war, he said, his gaze steely like a dull blade. It's the only war. Cullen, that's Cullen. <laughs> and she just gets so invested in the book. And the wonderful story, regaling tales of the Inquisition. Hope you guys are enjoying the credits. Made I'm loving this. A class of handsome sneer cultivated by a thousand years of Tevinta elitism. The name's Dorian. He glared. D O R I A N. Spell it right, you marble headed lump, or it's toad time. A toad? That's hardly credible. Dorian's voice could have been a bit better. I could do a better impression of Dorian. The bold elf spun, mage staff crackling like the city after a good man's murder. You're crazy, the Red Templar cried in terror. Moonlight glinted off ears like the knives you never see coming. Better to fade out than burn away. Ugh, Beric. Samuel, you're requesting that I do a Dorian impression with, like, right as we're ending the stream? Okay, fine, I'll Wait, try my best. Where am I? I don't... Oh, here it is. The Seeker clutched at my vest, her tears as desperate as they were pitiful. <laughs> Varric, I was wrong about everything, she sobbed. <laughs> Could you find it in your noble heart to forgive me? That dwarf, he... he... He put me in the book! Oh, oh, I'm in the book! I am reading the shit out of this! <sighs> to all of you who played Dragon Age Inquisition, who laughed, cried, and reached out on social media, who made fan art and comics and cosplay and jokes, thank you. Dragon Age Inquisition was a labor of love. Without you, it would have never been possible. Your support and your passion touched us deeply. We hope that, in some small way, this game touched you as well. Bear your blade and raise it high, the Dragon Age team. Oh, my dear, darling, lovely Lost Tales. I'm so sorry about that. Um, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight for the conclusion of my stream of Dragon Age Inquisition. I had so much fun with this game. I hope you all did as well. Um, 
there was something that I had that came that I saw months ago and I was like okay I should like include that in during a stream at some point but I always kept forgetting and now I have to do it before I wrap things up so in my brain during that part where like uh, uh, Lavellan, um, our Inquisitor, she's just like, we can just try to work things out with Solus. We have to save him. And, um, like, Dorian is just, uh, like, glaring up at Solus, standing aloof on a cliff. He's like, you've known her for one year. One year, Solus, and you think you have some kind of wolfy claim on her? She's ours! And he just grabs the Inquisitor, throws her over his shoulder, and just walks away. Come along, darling, I've got cocktails and lots of handkerchiefs to dry your tears with. I'm not letting you talk to this idiot, this boiled-headed idiot, any longer. Ah, oh, but I love this game, in case that wasn't already obvious. This last stream took a very unexpected turn, but I truly hope you all had a wonderful time tonight. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much for renewing your subscriptions, for dropping bits. You are all absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much. Um, I do have some ideas for what I want to stream next on my Friday streams, but I just want to uh, test them out a little bit just to make sure that one, they play nicely on my PC, and two, they kind of fit with the vibe of what I like to do for my Friday streams. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. And if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose, at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now, including my Twitter, my YouTube. Uh, I have a new ASMR tale that's coming out tomorrow. Very, very excited for. And my Instagram for lovely pictures and all that good stuff. Um... And thank you all so very much. Let us give some love to Descartes Games because they are wonderful. Be sure to give plenty of love to uh, Brian and Amelia. I love them so much. I would love to work with them or collaborate with them one day. So be sure to give them plenty of love from the Blue Rose Respite. And I will see you on Sunday uh, for more Persona Golden. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys.